Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Whether you're grilling meat or cooking up a light pasta dish, it's always fun to have a little ring around the rosé, darling. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And here to serve up some perfect summer wine pairings is wine consultant and creator of The Wine Rack, Raquel Valveron. Hi. Welcome, Raquel. Thank How you are for you? having me. Yes, I'm I know. So now, girl, you know you're my favorite already. <laughs> you came bearing gifts. Yes. So it's very important for us to know uh, what wines are good with what foods because sometimes if we take if we choose the wrong wine yes. then it can be overbearing with the food and we want to stay away from that exactly yeah yes. so what do we have here let's go ahead and get started yeah so uh, we have a Bulgariana a Bulgarian rosé it's a, based off of a Cabernet grape mm -hmm. but what I'd like to do something I do during my wine tastings is I show people exactly what you just said mm -hmm. and it's how what food can throw off how absolutely. wine can taste. Let's talk about so. how do you properly hold the wine glass in order absolutely. to get everything, make sure that you're getting all of everything out of the wine. Right, so you want to make sure you're holding your glass by the stem. And the reason why, and, and you can even, so, some people feel a little bit uncomfortable, you can put your pinky underneath to um, balance it. I don't, it. honey, yeah. I do this. <laughs> you can I do don't. this as well. But the, the reason being is um, you do not want the warmth of your hand to warm the glass. The glass because, yes, so you know. Girl, the, I was a waitress, honey, before uh, I came back, <laughs> back in high school. I'm, high school and throughout college for a bit, I was a waitress, so wow. I don't know about this. Carry yes, on, my dear, carry yes. on. But what, so it alters the way the wine tastes, but it also makes the alcohol evaporate. Mm -hmm. So we want to keep the alcohol in the glass since that's kind of a I like that. Yeah. So I see that you have potatoes here. Yes. And so. I'm going to have a little bit of the potatoes. Now yes. they may be cold, but that's okay. Yeah, no uh, problem. I just want to make I want to make sure um, that I'm tasting. Bef so before we get to the potatoes, I actually wanted to do a little bit of a demo to show everyone. Okay. So let's try a little bit of that grape okay. with the rosé just you to show everyone first? how we Yes, yeah, so and then we'll sip the wine afterwards and tell Well, the grape is good. Yeah. <laughs> So tell me, so how do you feel about that? It's pairing very, very well, extremely well. Yes. It's an even flow. Yes. I can actually taste and distinguish both flavors wow. between the two, so it's not running together, no. Perfect, so mm -hmm. try that one more time, but I want you to just taste the lemon, Ooh. and then sip the wine, and then let's compare mm, let's see. how they taste. And then let's try that. that. It's a little so, more bitter. It made oh, it made the wine taste a little bit it's a more little bitter. Bit more bitter yeah, yeah, I yes. would go with the grape. Yeah, so so rosé can go either way, either acidic wines or with. Uh, and why do a we have the potatoes food. here? So the potatoes they have a nice butter in them. So because this rosé is a little acidic, that butter will cut through the fat of the acidity of the rosé. Mm. So now, okay. yeah. So we I'm can, not going to yeah. taste the potatoes. So we can try the Vouvray. So this is a uh, Chenin Blanc. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, from uh, the Loire Valley of France. Okay. So we have a corn on the cob. So what's great about this is this has a little bit of sweetness. Okay. And it pairs well with the butter and the charred uh, component of the, the corn. Cob, corn on the cob. So should I taste the corn yes. first? Go ahead. Yes. Girl, you can't be on national TV eating yes. corn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't mind doing it. <laughs> <laughs> corn is good too. Yes. It's nice and sweet. Yes. Oh baby. Yes. Yes. Oh baby. Yes. Oh, that's good. Yes. Very now we're gonna sp we're gonna split this bottle later. Yeah. And this one's gonna go home with me, but th this one is really, really, really good. Very so I good. really love that. It's one of my favorite wines, and this is what pairing. we call a porch knocker. So now oh. we have the red Zinfandel. So I never drink red Zinfandel. Yeah. I, I just don't do it. I never even pick it up in the store. Yes. You know what? It is a great barbecue wine because mm. it's so fruit forward, and we're gonna pair it with the pork ribs. But before we do that, we have another demo. So I would like for you to try. Um, the wine straight out of the glass. Okay. So I'm gonna pour a little bit for you. Okay, no, and this is the this red This is the Zinfandel. red Zinfandel. This okay. is from Lodi, have, California. I don't have to have the shrimp with that. We will pair the, yes, yeah, so that shrimp also goes really well with the Vouvray. Yes, so. Let me tell you something. Very, this is actually a really good, um, Zinfandel. And yes. it's a, I'll tell you why, it's not as strong as, uh, let's say, a, a Merlot. 
Right. Right. And, the, right. and, the, and it's not as full bodied as the Merlot, although you can see the legs that's coming down the glass right there. Right. Here. It's yeah. got some body in mm -hmm. there, but it's got 14% alcohol, which you see from the tears. Yeah. You can, uh, from how slowly they're running. But I would like for you to compare that, okay. how that tastes to a decanted Zinfandel. Okay. And now tell the people what the decanter does. It's supposed to open up the wine. So the decanter, yes, it definitely opens up the wine. The way I describe it to everyone is that uh, it give, it brings out the personality in the wine. So mm -hmm. do you taste a little bit of a difference there of the decanted version? Now this is the same, is this the same wine this here? It's the same wine. Yeah, and you did the decanter on both? Yeah, oh I no, one, this was straight out of the bottle and that was the decanted one. Oh, I thought one. this, okay, but wait a minute, yeah. hold on, let me see something. <laughs> <laughs> you can go ahead and pour that one for me too. I'm, I'm on my way. <laughs> there is a difference there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's more There's aromatic little, there. Yes, mm -hmm. you definitely mm -hmm. feel this. So now, what fruit. do we have here? So, this last part is the, such a great summer sipper. It's an adult wine float. Mm -hmm. So, we took a little bit of ice cream and poured. Uh, well, this won't make me sick, protect. will it? No, With no, ice cream? no, it won't. Okay, let me taste it. <laughs> come on, sisters, come yeah. on in. I wasn't gonna hog up all the yeah. wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh and so, okay. Yeah, so this mm. is a great dessert. That's yes. good, that's good. Yes. That's really good, actually. So tell me a little bit about the wine rack before we get out of here workout. Yeah, so I have a, a great company that I create fun wine experiences to take the intimidation away from the wine. Mm. Um, from how Who wine is, is intimidated by wine? Some <laughs> people, yeah, <laughs> a lot of people are, but yeah, Where so I, I make it so that every and wine is more approachable and make it a lot of fun. We have massage events and cruises, so it's a great time. Well, you mm. heard it here first, honey, by Raquel herself, and thank you so much for mm. being here. Yes. Yes appreciate it. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind wine tasting experience, you definitely want to go to therhinerec.com. Yes. And we'll be right back. Hopefully yes. not tipsy, okay? Yes. 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 Yes